Well, greetings! Yes, been a while since my last update. And hectic times here, might be changing jobs, got a new pet, got several official illustration assignments outside of my main job. It's crazy. I still got a lot of projects coming, don't worry, I just don't have much time to work on them. Fortunately, I noticed it's trendy to have these vlog videos where you talk while showing video game footage that has absolutely nothing to do with anything you're saying these days, which is great! Usually I'm struggling to figure out how to visualize a vlog. So now I just show stuff that has nothing to do with anything. Woo! Okay, so the Sega news thing. People want my comment on it. Didn't want to do anything Sonic related this month, but whatever. Sega's moving, changing studios, and saying they'll only be doing small cell phone projects from now on. And movies. I could have sworn Sega said the exact same thing before a couple years back, but whatever. So no more big budget games probably, only small games and possibly some Hollywood movies. So my take, I think it's great news actually. I think Sega's strength has always been with short and action-packed, easy-to-digest action titles. And one of the main reasons why they have so much trouble since 2001 is that they just don't know how to logically expand a one-hour arcade action game like House of the Dead or Knights or Golden Axe into a 60-hour mega game. So they just start fitting it up with junk and padding and that just doesn't work with arcade-centric games. Same with Sonic, I consider Sonic the strongest, in gameplay terms anyway, when he's focused in one action-packed no-nonsense games. Even if it means it's just a two-hour game. Although I do prefer the fancy full experience games myself. But yeah, not a good idea in times of financial distress. So if, and that's an important if, if Sega used the opportunity with a Switch to simple and cheaper cell phone and PC games by embracing the 90s arcade mentality, no big attempts to be epic or game-changingly unique, but just stupidly fun and condensed games, it, they might get a spark back. After all, 80% of Sega's biggest successes were simple arcade games. Unfortunately, that means the chance of a new Shamu are smaller than ever before, and I have no idea how Fantasy Star or Jakuza or Sakura Wars will be doing. Depends on the Japanese market, I guess. So yeah, Sega on the back burner and just testing the waters out by recreating old classics in modern cell phone style, like that recent Crazy Taxi game they made and I haven't tried yet. I kinda like the idea of that. I'm just hoping Sega doesn't take the darn freemium game route with barely playable microtransition farm stuff. Incidentally, the new Sonic Runners is freemium. <laughs> also, the splash space implies it has some Chao Garden elements in the game, so as long as the freemium stuff is focused on that and keeps the main game alone, that'd be nice. And yes, we got our first information on Sonic Runners. Not much, but the trailer implies this will be inspired by the classics. Cute. Looking forward to seeing if they finally manage to actually remember how those level designs worked. And don't give us another Sonic 4 booster parade or generic claustrophobic small flat platform jumper like in Colors and Generations. Huh. No matter what happens with Sonic Runners, uh, there's insane amounts of fan games these days that nearly surpass anything Sega themselves can create. So with Sonic Roboblast 2 having endless new updates, the Sonic World's open engine program powering one amazing fan game after another, Freedom Planet still having some extra DLC coming up, and much more Sonic fan games I spotted, and generation level mods, there's tons of Sonic stuff to keep us occupied. So as a Sonic fan, you're lucky. Outside of Mario, there's almost no game franchise that has so many high quality fan games around. For as Sonic games are concerned, we don't need Sega, Sega needs us. And heck, I can use the break to catch up on old games, for parodies I still need to make. So I'm hopeful at the recent news. Leave the big games for the big studios, I much prefer Genesis and Dreamcast style games for on the go. We got Yakuza 5 coming up as a temporarily last hooray for big budget Sega games. Most of their recent big success games like Total Rome or Aliens or Bayonetta were made by other studios, so I doubt the actual gamers care much which studio happens to fork over the money, as long as something gives money to the development team so they can do their magic. Whatever. Well, that's the news, I guess. Wish I could say I have a new project coming soon, but uh, everything is kind of stuck or stranded somewhere. Might make a quick lame IMP mini soon to get something out. Oh, hey, one question. Uh, I got a lot of complaints lately that my in minutes parodies are too slow. <laughs> how, how much interest is there in me re uploading some of the Sonic in minutes parodies at double speed so they're more hyperactive? Or is that just lame attention seeking? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, and that's all. Subscribe, follow me on Fartbook and Twitter and blah blah blah, I don't care. Oh, and am I the only one who's amused at how happy and cheerful and colorful the Sonic Runners gameplay looks like, and, and then how intense and dark and gritty the trailer is? <laughs> Careful, Sega, you're making the people obsessed with Happy Sonic cry in fear with these intense fans. Better draw a smiley on them.